damn, I look clean. What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 24, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys are new to the series and want to submit your setup, make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, let the Setup Wars begin. As always, all of the gear for everyone's setups will be linked down below if anyone is interested, along with anything I recommend in this video. So with that said, here are your 5 lucky contestants. Anthony, Anton, Charles, Mahmood, and Sean. Congratulations for making it to Setup Wars episode 24. First up, we have Anthony with a tri-display setup. We have 3 Dell 23 inch monitors with some sexy blue LEDs to go with your wallpaper. Great job on the color coordination. On the desk, we have a wireless Logitech EX100 keyboard and mouse, along with a few other miscellaneous stuff on the desk as well. I don't know what it is with toy cars, but that seems pretty common on a lot of setups. Excellent job with cable management. I like how the IKEA table comes with a net underneath to hide your cables in. It's definitely a nice feature. Everything else is neatly wrapped and zip tied, so job well done. I have no complaints there. A few things I like about this setup is the fact that you mounted your Kenwood surround sound speakers on the wall and a desk lamp that you attached near your window. The only thing I don't like is the wooden pencil holder you have on the desk. It just feels like it doesn't belong there. I would either install a drawer under your desk to keep those things in there, or better yet, buy one of those plastic containers and flip it on its side and add some 3M tape on the top of it. And then you could stick that to the roof of your desk with the open side facing towards you. That way you can store a bunch of stuff in there with easy access. But yeah, I'll go ahead and drop a link to the container and the 3M tape if any one of you guys want to try that out for your setup. But yeah, not much else to say, a pretty organized setup overall. Thank you, Anthony, for entering. Anton is next up with a pretty minimalistic setup. So we have a 24-inch Asus monitor and a smaller Dell 17-inch display next to it. On the table, we have a CM Storm Rapid keyboard and a Logitech G700S mouse. Uh, off to the side, we have a pair of HyperX headphones resting on a self-made headphone hanger. <laughs> That's just awesome. We also have some insignia speakers near the back and the ever so popular LED strips. Cable management is... Um, I don't even know what to say here. I guess it's good since it's technically off the ground, but it doesn't look like it's organized or it doesn't have a system going on. A few things I like are the collection of boxes you have to the right side. I definitely love showing off quality products that I own and use every day. So kudos to that. And I also like the weird looking rock lamp that you have next to your monitors. It's definitely something I haven't seen before and looks pretty dope. This obviously looks like a budget setup, so I won't give you crap about using the USPS box as a monitor stand or your ghetto ass headphone hanger. Sometimes you just have to do with what you have and I'll give you points for being creative. Nonetheless, thank you Anton for entering Setup Wars. At number three, we have Charles with his dual setup. First off, I'd like to point out that I love the black and white contrast between the two tables. It looks like you swap the legs with each other and it looks really nice. I don't know about that pink PC case though. So on the first setup, we have a 23 inch Samsung monitor, a Razer Black Widow keyboard, and a Logitech G9X mouse. Also on the table, we have a Turtle Beach X12 headset, resting on the Xbox 360. Yes, I said 360. On the other desk, we have an Acer V5 laptop on top of the CM Storm CF29 gaming laptop cooler. But who is that cute person over there? He looks very familiar. I do have to give you a point for that awesome replica of Wheatley on your desk. And for those of you guys that don't know me, I'm a huge fan of Half-Life and Portal. So I gotta give you props for making an awesome replica of Wheatley for your desk setup. You also did a great job on cable management. I really like those white tubes you have on the floor that covers the wires. Overall, a very clean job. Now let's take a look at your PC. Now, although I don't have anything against pink cases, I just don't see this going well with your setup. But yeah, you have two pretty dope setups. Thank you, Charles, for entering. Next up is Mahmood's gorgeous white setup. We have three 27 inch Dell 1440p monitors, and that's 2560 by 1440p resolution, guys. That's not 1080p. The displays are mounted on the capstone monitor mounts, which we have seen previously on Glazzy's setup on episode 20. And on the desk, we have a Logitech K800 wireless keyboard 
and an MX Performance mouse on the Corsair Extended mouse pad. There's also a pair of ATH M50X BL headphones hanging from the side of the desk. Cable management couldn't be more perfect. I really like how the wires are hidden behind the doors here and this also makes it extremely convenient to access. Let's not forget about that transformer looking PC case you have from Thermaltake. That thing is an absolute beast, winning on a 4790K processor and a GTX 980. One thing I really like about the accessories you have are the tiny hands that's holding up your remote for the LEDs. I do see a Bose Bluetooth speaker on the ground and I know you don't want that giant thing on your desk, it just won't look good there. But it kind of looks out of place on the floor as well, so maybe grabbing a small nightstand or even an extra drawer would prove to not only be useful, but you also will have a dedicated place for the speakers. Other than that, I have nothing else to say. I mean, everything from the granite floor to the white table and even the backdrop, not to mention the sexy looking office chair just goes so damn well together. By far one of the most gorgeous and elegant setups I've seen by far. I would have given this a 10 out of 10 seal of approval if it weren't for the colors on those headphones the PC case and the fact that the speakers are out of place on the floor. But nonetheless, it's an awesome setup. Thank you, Mahmood, for entering. Last but certainly not least, we have Sean from Frosted Gaming. He was actually featured on episode 10 before, but since then he has changed around his setup. So this is his gaming room. We have three Acer 24 inch monitors and a giant Samsung 4K smart TV right above, which I'm guessing is used for console gaming and watching videos. At least that's what I'll be using it for. On the desk we have a Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with custom white caps, a Logitech G502 gaming mouse, and a few headphones off to the side. We have a pair of Turtle Beach X07s, an ATH M50X, and a Corsair H2100S on the other side. Cable management was great before and it's still great even till today. It looks like you routed them near the top and behind your desk. Since your last submission, you did build a new PC as well it seems. This bad boy is running the new Skylake 6700K, which is overclocked to 5.2 GHz. That's just ridiculous. It also has 16GB of Platinum RAM from Corsair and a GTX 980 Ti which is also overclocked to 1390 MHz. That's one hell of a beast you got there, man. I do gotta say that you have a bunch of stuff on your desk, and there's some JBL speakers near the back of the monitors, and even some stuff on the shelves above. But you know what? They all have their place and it's well organized. I'm digging the acoustic foams you have on the wall and the LEDs behind your setup and even under your bed. This is one badass gaming room. And I thank you, Sean, for entering Setup Wars again. So before I end this episode, I want to give a huge thanks to Harry's for making this video possible. They basically send shaving supplies straight to your door. Now I know for a fact there's a bunch of you guys out there that hate shopping for razors because I feel the exact same way. You go to a store, you look for the razor you want, but they're locked up behind a glass window. And then you end up paying a crap ton for them. Harry's sends everything you need for the perfect shave straight to your doorstep. You get a premium German made razor handle, two extra blade cartridges and your choice of shaving cream or gel for just 15 bucks for the starter pack. But if you guys use the code TechSource you can knock off an extra 5 bucks off your first purchase. But seriously guys I've been shaving with this thing the past week now and the razors are extremely sharp. But I also like how the blade contours my face for a complete smooth shave. Obviously you don't have to believe me so click on the link down below so you guys can try it for yourself. But make sure to use the code TechSource to get that discount. Alright so don't forget to drop your comments down below and vote on the best desk setup. And as always I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So make sure you guys are following me there if you want to know who wins. Uh, that's basically it. If you guys enjoy Setup Wars you guys know what to do. Hit that like button to show your support. And I will be here every single Monday making these for you. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.